The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano, will be spending the next 26 days in detention until his next appearance in court. The self-styled liberator will have to answer to charges of treason and inciting violence. But as Plus TV Africa Ngozika HSC reports, Kano has a history of slipping away from Nigerian authorities. Largely unknown until 2009, Namdi Kano is now revered as a freedom fighter by some people and one of Nigerians' biggest enemies by others. Such an enemy that has a hundred million naira bounty on him. It was in 2009 he started his radio Biafra, which broadcast messages of secession from Nigeria. This isn't the first time Kano would be arrested. He was first taken on October the 14th, 2015 at a hotel in Lagos. This led to protests in the southeastern states of Anambra and Enugu and the south-south states of Delta and Rivers. He was detained by the Department of State Service for more than a year and arraigned on an 11-count charge bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony and managing an unlawful society. He jumped bail in April 2017 and sneaked out of Nigeria, flouting his bail conditions in the process. In September of the same year, the Nigerian army once again arrested Kano in Abia State and placed him under house arrest. Kano and his family weren't seen in public for weeks, leading to speculations that the IPOB leader may have been killed. When it was time for him to reappear in court, he was nowhere to be found. March 28, 2019, Justice Bin Sanyako of the Federal High Court Abuja revoked the bail that was granted to Kano and issued a bench warrant for his arrest. His trial resumed in his absence, with witnesses testifying against him. Meanwhile, Kano continued his anti-state messages online. The Nigerian government continues its search for him. And on Tuesday, the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, announced that he has been rearrested and brought back to the country. Namdi Kano has, for your information, been intercepted through the collaborative efforts of the Nigerian Intelligence and Security Services. There was no information about which country he was arrested in. After a brief hearing in Abuja, Justice Yako ordered that he should be remanded in the prison custody until his next date at the court, which is July 26th. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Ohaechesi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.